Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be checking out some viewer creations. Now if you're wondering about the face cam thing here, uh, it's just something that I wanted to go ahead and try out on maybe some viewer creation episodes and maybe multiplayer Monday. Uh, it's not going to be a permanent thing, I'm not going to do it during my creations because I want you guys to focus on those instead of my face up here in the corner. Uh, but for something like the creations that you guys send me I think you guys want to see my uh, reaction to that so we're gonna do that here uh, if you want to send anything to the channel I will put the information down in the description I'll probably flash something up on screen and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this but remember folks if you're enjoying scrap mechanic leave this video a thumbs up helps out my channel and let's jump right into this all right so we're gonna be checking out the bowling dine this is by duck joke if that name sounds familiar to you uh, we did check out, I think it was a music store of his, and it was really awesome. It was full of surprises, and I expect this thing to pretty much be the same. Now, I do warn you, this thing is a bit laggy. Uh, I am in the town district, and you can see everything's running really smooth out here, but when we hop on a lot of this, I do lose about 20 or 30 FPS. Now, this is a pretty intense lot. Go ahead and show you guys the spider web from the safety of the non-laggy part. Uh, you can see... It's pretty big. It's got a lot going to it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going to the back of the building there. I think that's where possibly the bowling alley or the bowling lanes are, and then you get the back scoreboards. Uh, let's just kind of slowly creep in here, and we'll kind of see what it does. Uh, it's not getting any worse, so that's a good sign. Now, I like what he's done with the outside, and at first when I saw this, I was kind of amazed by the roof. But the roof's actually just a bunch of actual block drags across. I thought it was actually like a big slanted roof, and I was like, how did he do that? That's a huge piece. But it does look like those are all individual blocks. He does have the slanted pieces on the side, but not all over it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and hop into the inside here and check it out. Uh, that's, a, that's an odd place to put a switch, actually. All right, let's walk in and check this out. This is cool. I saw the pictures. Uh, he's got a workshop, which I'll link it down in the description. And he had a bunch of pictures posted of the interior. And that's what I knew. I was like, man, this is going to be pretty special. So, oh, this is the full setup. All right, looks like we got bowling lanes down here. We've got stuff like pool tables, dining areas. Looks like a, uh, is that an air hockey? So that's air hockey and pool tables. Uh, over here looks like some arcade machines. Uh, there's a random duck on the ground there. Is this a play area? I think this is a play area. That's actually really neat. Wait. Oh, I thought the lag disappeared in here. I was like, that's kind of odd. Uh, let's wander over here. Looks like we've got a big... This is, I guess, the dining part. Snack bar part, maybe? Or is this where... Okay, bowling shoes are over here. Alright, I've got to slow down here. I've got to kind of piece this together. Just kind of looking at where everything is. Uh, I guess we're going to go down to the bowling lanes first and check those out. Now... I think you can make it to where this works. You can go download a pin set and delete a couple of blocks. Obviously, it's so laggy right now. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Uh, I kind of fear that. Um, oh, actually, there, there are all the balls. So I'm assuming you could probably grab one of those. You'd have to cut it off the rack here. And I guess possibly use your hammer to knock it down the lane. Uh, let's see. Does this turn on? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so... Lights up the lane. I'm assuming each one of these has a switch on it. There's that one. Uh, if you're wondering why everything's actually lighting up in the town, I know I used to complain about this a lot, but Moombo told me that you can actually turn off lights. Instead of having to delete them, you can turn some off and you'll get the other lights to actually illuminate again. I used to have the issue where I could stick as many lights as I wanted to, but you wouldn't actually see the illumination on the ground. But we've seemed to have fixed that, so... We've got that. Let's go ahead and check the lane out. Looks like you can go up the side here. Uh, by the way, I am absolutely terrible at bowling. Like, I could find a way to screw it up, even with bumpers. 
Uh, I don't want to talk about my bowling experiences. Uh, what's back here? Okay, so this is like where the machine are, or where the big machine normally is, and like sets up the pins down there. Uh, kind of trying to figure out, how does this work? There's a bunch of sensors up here. I read the description. I think this is where you would actually weld the pin set at. Okay, so if you were to weld that and say if you were to, I guess, roll your ball down, which I guess you'd have to hit it with a hammer, which that might be a little awkward, it would light these up, right? Oh, okay, I get it. That would actually show you your score. So you can see the pins are set up down here. And if you were to roll a ball back, hit the pins away, those uh, lights, I guess, would turn off where the pins are gone. That could actually work pretty good. I can see where that might be a little bit of an issue if, say, if a pin gets stuck. But I guess maybe those sensors were only set to... What are they set to, actually? Four, so... That's like one or two probably off the ground. That might actually work pretty good. That's a... That's a nifty little design. I like the color scheme of this, too. Uh, definitely a really cool-looking bowling alley. Might have to get the guys out, and we might have to try to do some bowling, but I don't think we could do it here in the town because it's a little too laggy for bowling, but... Pretty cool. Here's your uh, return machine here. There's a sensor that goes off right here. What is that connected to? I guess that that's actually not connected to anything. Hmm. I wonder what he would use that for. I guess he would pass the ball. If he could only just roll the ball, that would be great. And it would pass by, but I'm trying to figure out what the sensor might actually do. But obviously, it's not hooked up. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, go back here, get all the balls. Uh, this is... I guess this is the same thing, like a return, but it's on this side. There's something different about this last lane. I want to say maybe it's like a kid's lane or something. Uh, very possible, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and wander up here. Looks like we've got some dining areas. Uh, you got a pool table back here. That looks pretty good. Get some pool sticks, pool cues. Uh, let's see. You know, it's been forever since I've been to a bowling alley. I kind of want to go back, but I don't want to bowl. I want to watch other people bowl. Uh, if I bowl, I do not do very good. Alright, so it looks like we got a pool table over here. We've got a... There's actually a switch on this. This is one of those uh, air hockey tables. These are really fun. And I'm hearing a noise. What is that? Something's going off. Actually, it's on this side. What is that? Uh, okay. I don't know. It made some noise and then it stopped. So you've got that. I... Maybe these are bowling trophies, I think. You got like a little duck trophy over there and then you have a, a even bigger cup over here. Uh, looks like some foosball, and we've got ducks <laughs> lodged in there. That's actually pretty cool looking. Got that. Looks like we have a racing game over here. Oh, there's buttons. See, look at this. This is what's wrong with Scrap Mechanic. I jumped into the seat, and the lag's gone. I have no clue why it does that. It bugs me so bad. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the switch here. Oh, turns on. Got a couple tote bots making some noise. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's like a, I guess it's a racing game. It would be kind of cool to have one of these in Scrap Mechanic, and when you turn the wheel, it actually lights the logic gates up. That's awesome. I like that. All right, let's go and turn that off here. Got a little duck game over here. Looks like we can uh, try to win a surprise duck. There's a couple shoes in there, too. That's a, uh, I don't think I'd like that prize. It looks like a duck fell out. So we've got that. Kind of already showed off the playroom area. So if you want to just drop the kids off and they can kind of watch themselves, you can go bowl. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, what's back here? Okay, so there's the shoes. So all of this is like a dining area. So you, or at least a diner, or he calls it bowl and dine. I guess it's like a snack bar. So you can come back here. It looks like you can order. It's got a nice bar area. I would actually probably stick some bar stools along this because that would look, I think, pretty awesome. So you've got that. Uh, let's go ahead and hop behind the counter. We'll just hop over it here. Uh, this is, okay, this is the main switch for all the lights. Looks like we got a drink machine over here. You got some storage. Maybe those are menu items in the background, I think. You go here. See, he's smart. This is something that I need to start doing in my town builds. Uh, you can see there's a door here, but there's no actual bearing. And that's just to cut out a bearing, because we all know bearings cause lag and scrap mechanic. And it's really annoying, but he's smart about this. Uh, let's walk back here. Looks like we have our kitchen area, and I gotta check for it. Somebody uh, said the other day, I did my prison episode, and I didn't have a duck in the uh, oven. And somebody's like, you didn't put a duck in the oven. And I kind of should have known somebody was going to catch that. 
Uh, it looks like I got a pink duck down there. Okay, so it's a raw duck in the uh, fridge here. Is there an oven over here? Actually, that's an oven here. He's got a duck in his oven. Really? Man, now I feel really bad for forgetting the duck. Okay, so he's got a duck. He's got a grill back here. He got some uh, raw patties, some cooked patties. Maybe that's a heater, cheese, lettuce. This is a pretty nifty setup. Looks like we've got maybe some Slurpee machines back here. We've got that. We've got a... Is this an employee entrance? Maybe? I want to say, okay, so we're right by the sign. So I'd say that's probably an employee entrance. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's walk over here. Is that it? I think that's about it. There's a room back here. What is this? Why can't I open this? Something strange about this. Uh, did we forget bearings? I'm gonna cut his creation open because I want to see what this is. There's like a room. Is this another little maybe arcade room? Let's go ahead and cut that open there. Cut those out. What is this? I guess these are arcade machines. Are these all hooked up? Oh, they are. Maybe it's a jukebox or something. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, I like this. It's like little machines back here that you can kind of just mess around with. Kind of feel like I've seen that before. Maybe that was in the music store, possibly? That's pretty cool. Alright, I just, I don't understand why we can't get back there, but that's pretty awesome. So yeah, he sent me this, and he's got a vehicle to go along with. If you remember the music store, he actually had like a little DJ car that went along with it. So here, he's got like a, a roadster or a hot rod car that goes along with the uh, bowling alley. So we're going to go check that out. Alright, so we have this vehicle, which this vehicle is absolutely wild looking. If you remember his DJ car, it looks similar to this. It had like a big mohawk on it. And this is kind of the same thing. Uh, let's see. So it's called the Bowling Dragster. Uh, it's the owner of this car really likes to bowl, so I guess he made a Bowling Dragster car. Uh, yeah, this is something. Let's just look at it real quick. Uh, it's wild. Now, this does appear to be all out of vanilla parts, so you could just run this thing and not have to worry about downloading any extra mods. It's pretty wild for vanilla parts, I must admit. The way the back wing is set up, you've got like this mohawk on top of it. Uh, even the... How am I supposed to get into this? I'm looking at this. I'm seeing the uh, exhaust pipes kind of wrap around the door. Okay. Oh! Oh! Okay. That's kind of cool. The exhaust pipes actually have to move in order to get into the car, but that's still a thing. Alright, well, I guess we're ready to hop into this and take it for a spin. My guy looks like he's prepared to die. This is, uh... This is gonna be pretty intense. Actually, whoa. Okay, is that rubbing or no, it's just a single suspension piece. Let's go ahead and just hit the gas and see what type of power That's <laughs> that's not too bad. I don't know if I consider that a dragster, but that is it's a cool looking car I would say more like a maybe it's a hot rodding dragster I do like what he's done with the engine how it kind of pokes out the top. You've got the headers at the top That's pretty cool. You can see there's actually a couple of engine blocks down there, too. So that's what's actually providing the power in the game. We've got the big back tires. I kind of want to throw this on the actual streets. So let's go ahead and grab that. Kind of give you guys a little cruise of the Komodo Commercial District. If you've missed anything, it's been a while since we've been here to actually do much building. I've been focusing on the prison and a couple of my, uh, my vehicle things that I've been doing, but... Give you guys a little tour. There's a movie studio. We've got the police station. There's the visitors bureau. That's the city hall. The fire station. Wow. Did I really build this much stuff in the town? There's the bank. There's the mall. Arcade. The gym. Wow. You know, I kind of forget how much we've put in, in this uh, in this commercial district. Oh, that's a pole. It's a pretty cool little vehicle, though. It takes the streets pretty well. Uh, its turning radius is pretty decent, I would say. Uh, you kind of have to let off to get through my streets. My streets are a little tighter than most city streets. But I think I'm using the same width as the old town streets. So nothing's really changed. It's just the vehicle designs get a little bit different. But anyways, this is a pretty cool little vehicle. If you want to download any of this, I will link his workshop in the description. His name is Duck Joke. He also has a really awesome music store if you want to download that for your town. But I would highly suggest downloading this uh, bowling Alley, especially if we put this in a different world and maybe it doesn't lag uh, You might actually be able to bowl a game or two in there. So that's pretty awesome So 
Anyways, we're going to set that up here. Like I said, if you'd like to send any viewer creations to the channel, I will have that linked in the description below. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully the webcam wasn't too distracting. We're just kind of testing it out, see just how it works, uh, see if it's something I might want to add in future videos. So let me know, comment below there. But anyways, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Scrap Mechanic Viewer Creations. We will return with some more Scrap Mechanic Prison tomorrow. I've got something really cool, actually. Uh, a lot of you guys have been requesting it. So, anyways, hope you guys have a good day, and we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.